welcome back. My name is Volt with Productus, and we're playing some more Punishing Grey, Grey Raven, Ravens. Oh god, my brain melted on that one. Um, so, I got some bad news. Your boy, <laughs> your boy messed up. Big time. You see, I didn't finish the event or play the event within the certain time limit, so we can't actually play it anymore. But all isn't lost because of my friend Alice right here. She will actually be providing the combat footage for us, and we're basically gonna treat this as like a glorified uh, visual novel playthrough. Trust me, you'll see what I mean. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so let's get back to the game. Last time we managed to get 2B on our first pool, and we managed to get a second one too, which was pretty damn good because you can take like your duplicates and kind of mash them together to get better stats, you know, gotcha games. And so since we got all the costumes, well, we got all the units, so now all we have to do is get all the costumes. We have a uh, 9 S's and uh, a 2's, but we need 2 B's, and there's only one way to get that. Boom, and there you have it, looking nice. Alright, so let's go ahead and check out 2 B's moveset. Alright, let's see what she's got. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Let's see here. Perform any three ping after a yellow ping to gain 240 stability. What the hell? Alright. Uh, the 240 stability gain from any three ping allows the character to enter, uh, enter, <laughs> enter battle stance. Alright. Hey, yo. Cool, 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 cool. In battle stance, every basic attack... Uh, will also launch an additional sword wave. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh god, that's sick! <laughs> uh, any red ping or yellow ping made in battle stance will also launch uh, sword wave attacks. Okay, but what's her blue? Uh, in battle stance, making a two red ping will gain one stack of data correction for 9 seconds, gaining physical damage bonus. What the hell? Alright. Uh, and she gets, yeah, yeah, yeah that, that little buff up there. Data correction lasts 8 seconds, stacks up 3 times every time a new stack is gained. The duration will be renewed. What? Alright. Oh, gotta click that over there. Uh, make a 3 ping and battle stats. Whoa. Wait, wait. Make a uh, a red 3 ping in battle stats will get you 2 stacks of data correction. Okay. So it'll still get you, you don't have to do uh, 2 ping for it. Uh, make 1 uh, ping in battle stance will renew the duration. Okay, so you can just keep it going like that by keeping red pings up. And use 80 energy to charge and launch multiple attacks. Signature move does not consume stability and will renew the duration of data. Oh my god. Badass. Stage complete. Whoo! Dang. All right. Two B. God damn. What the hell? That's there. There. There's the blue. There's the blue. Hold on. I want to see if I can. All right. Let's go check out her assist. All right. Let's check this out. God damn. All right. Cool. 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 And then she also has a run scene. God. Feels so damn good. Uh. And then. Boom. She also has a dash attack, which the other um, units don't have, which is pretty cool. Now then, we gotta show off one more thing she does. Alright, so let's give it a shot. And there it is! Boom. <laughs> Woo! Yeah! Just get a nice view while you can. Yep, there it is. Uh, you got 2B self-destruct in the game. Ain't that shit cool? Alright, enough perving around. Let's get back into the actual story itself. God damn! Jesus Christ, what were it? Uh, mm, uh, blessed. Absolutely blessed. Let's let's get back into the story. 
Okay, so last we left off was... I think we found those two mechanoids. And uh, I think the pink one was damaged, so we need to find some parts to help fix her. By the way, if text goes too fast, I'm just going to dub it in. Then is everything. Must find the strip. Uh, it is a place where I know where, but Abelia has a problem. Cannot. Let me take a look. I made some emergency repairs on Abelia. Okay, but she won't be able to fight. I remember some of the fallen mechanoids outside. Okay, cool. Let's do this. Hey, look, they're following us. How cool. Go ahead and make our way back through here. Once again, absolute fantastic modeling for this area. More mechanoids are moving again. Purpose machine, uh, we need us now. Ask our to stay back. We will take, take these down. Oh, hell yeah, bud. Let's get this. Boom. Knock that down. And yeah. Nope. Oh, you gotta protect them. Do they actually have a life bar? No? Okay. Uh, the damage recognize. Why? Well, whatever. Won't do, basically. <laughs> All right. Multiple motion signals detected. Ah, oh, big boy. Watch out. More damage mechanoids are moving again. Ah, oh, crap. I can't move. Oh, yeah. Oh, I can move. I can fight. I can move. I can fight. All right, go ahead and knock this out. Nice, nice. Uh, okay. Don't forget to refresh the the thing. And lost it. Call out Liv. And bam. God dang, got a lot more life than I expected. And did. There we go. I see another falling mechanoid over there. It looks like we could use it. I don't know about that one, champ. Oh, that, that one looks a bit too big. Alright, alright. Start the repairs, Liv. Alright. Wait. Motion signal's nearby. God damn. Oh, big stompy. Oh shit, here we come! Oh no! Nah, he's fine. Ask her, ask her! Ask her signals are getting extremely weak. We need to help him. Ambelia, protect. Uh, Ambelia, protect. Okay, uh, last we uh, picked up off of is that we picked up the two mechanoids, and I think one of them was injured. And I'm gonna guess that it's not her. Ask her. Ask her. And Belia rushes over to ask her's, uh, ask her fr frantically. Uh, uh, <clears throat> Those are his dying shots, by the way. Ask her. Ask her. And Belia, stop shaking it. Let me take a look. Lev tries to stop her, but she continues to shake Ask her stubbornly. Ask her. Ask her. Hey, yo, what's going on? I've heard the others say that although the bionic mechanics in the past were programmed with emotions, they were ultimately an imitation. That's correct. Going off the, like, like the Nair lore, uh, mechanoids are just, a, uh, their emotions, quotation marks, just mimic uh, humans. They're not like, they don't have like a real, like, not constitution, uh, cognition. There we go. Uh, they knew to cry when upset, but they didn't really. Wait, wait. Did they, but they really didn't. Hold on. Am I reading that right? They knew when to cry, but they didn't know what really constituted upset. Yeah. So I guess basically she's saying what I said. If someone by your side isn't moving, they must be dead. If someone by your side is dead, 
then it's worth being upset. See, even though it was their choice, they were ultimately following their pre-programmed -pre orders. Mechanoids can only act according to the logic of AI. The AI doesn't have the ability to make its own choices. Yeah, because it's just predetermined uh, routes, I guess. Other actions are optimized, predetermining solutions. Fucking just ah, I'm too, I'm too big brain. My my AI lore, <laughs> my AI knowledge is too big. Oh god, Cry, crying when you are sad. Uh, crying when you are sad for mechanoids means that all you need to do is cry when you are sad. But why be sad? Why cry? These are the choices that a soul makes, not an AI. Is it though? Because it's pre-programmed. Like we just stated before, that if 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 an action is uh not not predetermined, if an action, man, how do I put this? I don't know the word. Sorry, uh, but. But, but basically, like, if you see something that determines an emotion, that emotion should be the, should be input. Does that make sense? So, something, so, if, uh, if, if there's an option to be, my bad. If the preset, uh, before you is to be happy, then the catalog of emotions, which are happy, sad, so on and so forth, it's gonna choose the happy, uh, Emotion. Does that make sense? No, no, I know I'm overcomplicating this thing. I would have to sit down and write it out for you because I cannot do this on the spot. <laughs> you get what I mean if you know what like 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 you get what 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 I'm trying to say. My brain is not that big. Uh, Lucia quietly walks up to Embelia, who is still shaking Esker. Let's see here, Embelia, you have to stop. Uh, hey, you wake up, wake up. Abelia keeps shaking, uh, completely ignoring Lucia. Abelia, please stop. Uh, Lucia reaches out to Asgar, stopping Abelia from shaking him. Abelia, please stop. This this won't solve anything. Won't solve any. Won't solve anything. Well, let us try. Wait, wait. Uh, will you let us? Whoa! What the hell? Hold on, is my brain, my, my fucking dyslexia brain acting up, or is that right? Will you tr will you let us try if we say we can come up with a way to help us, uh, to help? Woof! That, that hurts my brain, is that right? Is, is that sentence right? That don't seem right. It seems like there's supposed to be a comma there somewhere. Will you let us try something if we say we can come up? Wait. Uh, will you let us try something if we come- Oh man, that, I don't know why, that, that one hurts my brain. Uh, Ambelia raises her body, uh, turns her head, and looks at all of you silently. Knowledge has no answer if Asgard doesn't move. Well, our knowledge does. <clears throat> we can't guarantee if it'll work out, but... Don't know, but want Asgard move. If your knowledge can, Embelia, uh, Embelia looks up at all you again. After a short pause, she slowly stands up and takes a step back. Thank you. Why thank? Because you understood. That doesn't seem to be written in their program. Oh, why did it auto score? That was weird. Is it on auto scroll? No. I'm gonna go back to see what Lee said. Uh. That doesn't seem to be written in their program. Is it self-evolution? Back to that Darwin AI shit. Uh, their oof. Their computational abilities. Seem to be rudimentary. Rudimentary. Can this level of AI evolve itself? I don't know. 
Let Lev repair it and uh, and uh, oh wait. Let Lev try to repair it. Uh, repair Asker first. Lev, understood. Beginning medical procedures. Can it really be uh, like so? Like any time a machine works on another machine, can you? Well, eh. Uh, Anytime you work on a machine, is it really called medical procedures? If you're working on an android or working on a rep, working on an android, reploid, mechanoid, uh, what else is there? A construct, a T doll. Is it really? Can it really be considered working on, or a, can it really be considered medical, or would you be, or would you call it, um? Repair. Repairing. I think it should just be repairing. As Lev attempts to repair... See? <laughs> repair Eskar, Abelia stands beside her and stares at Eskar motionless. Naturally, there is no emotion in her green eye, quotation marks, despite it being different from the other mechanoids. The look is so different from the one in her eye. As she was shaking Asgore moments prior. Command it. Yo, what is it? In your opinion, do we look more human or machine? Well, right now, in that construct you're using, because, like... So, like, Lucio has multiple models that she can, you know, change into. And right now, currently, she's using the Dawn construct. The, the construct is the body she's using, by the way. She just uploads her brain to it. Um, so yeah, right now she looks more, more, more of a machine because parts of her are exposed. I would say so. Why are you asking me all of a sudden? But typically, whenever they're in their other contract form, so depending on how the construct is designed, I'd say they look human. And plus, too, the constructs, like, like, they're not AI, they're, they're human. I, so I would basically say that they are human. I don't know why, uh, Lucia would have this conflict about herself or really ask this question in general i don't know why i'm going on this rant or if it's even necessary anyway why are, you, <laughs> why are you asking me this all of a sudden i know that the commandant's weapon or rather humanity's weapon oh my gun my gat let's see here you're both see i think i think i like that answer um yeah both only by definition by definition no matter what uh you are lucia yes yeah, she is still her she, like she will always be who she is who her emotions are and whatnot her body might change but her emotions are still human her body is just not god god damn androids and oh shit's cool man fuck man i wish i wish i could live in, the, uh, in this type of future well Maybe not a dystopian future. I want, I want androids. I want smart AI so bad. One more thing. Uh, Lee asked me that too. Let's see what this takes us. How did you respond? Same answer. I see you are the commander after all. Okay. Right at that moment, Lee finish, uh, finish, finishes up helping Lev with the repairs, and walks over. Command it. What is it? Lee remains quiet. Instead, he just shakes his head. Ah, shit. Ask her. Nods. Hope that's a yes nod, not a no nod. We decided to <laughs> wait for your order. All right. Well, let's uh, let's uh, uh, clean up and let's go. All right. Oh, big sad. And Belia stands there, motionless. Her posture remains unchained, unchanged. Lev finish, uh, finishes scanning Asgar one more time, then stands up and looks over. There's nothing we, uh, I can do to repair the mechanoid. He was suffering from damages along the way, but the last strike has completely destroyed his internal infrastructure. Or my bad, his internal structure. There isn't anything else you could do. Liv quietly shakes her head, and then takes a step back from Eskar. Why? Why? Uh, because Eskar... Uh, Eskar can't be fixed. 
Ask her, did? The memory drive that stores constructs, or uh, its consciousness, is still running, but we can't provide a suitable host to transfer it. See, I was gonna bring that up if uh, if you could just take his his memory and just you know port it to a to a different um, mechanoid uh, body of the same type, obviously, or maybe it could be a different type. But then that begs the question if his ai module or whatever keeps the ai you know in if, if that still works you know uh the memory drive okay so yeah ask her hold on ask her need the ask her need a suitable host are you suggesting embelia embelia become a host Okay. Embelia, ask her, are the same. Why would you do that? Embelia, shaking, shaking, ask her, doesn't move. If Embelia can make ask her move, Embelia will do it. Ask her, never let Embelia get hurt. Oh, I'm gonna cry. Embelia can also not let ask her get hurt. Okay, Embelia will do it. Stuttering, Embelia silently kneels before Asker. Embelia searching. Oh wait, Embelia, searching. Nothing found. Embelia thought of way make Asker move. Not move. Okay, Embelia wants Asker here. What the hell is going on? Abelia spreads her arm uh, to grasp Asker head, uh, Asker's head, and slowly removes the spherical part. Asker said this part must not be damaged. Is that the core? Just place it in Abelia's body. Command it. Or let her do it. Come on, we'll stick that thing in there. So will it? Will it override her, or will it, uh, or will they coexist in one body, like she was saying? After the core was completely installed uh, into her frame, Abelia maintains her posture as she kneels on the ground. Abelia? Did it fail? No, her frame is normal. She's just not responding. Perhaps. Perhaps? Perhaps the two consciousness in a single frame are... Oh. Alchemy mating to the frame's control. Co uh, Embelia? Question mark? Comrade, I have to... Embelia must become host, okay? Here, there, all this, Naraka. Embelia? The rambling uh, Embelia... Trembles for a moment, then raises her head and gazes into the distance. I want push everything past breaking point. I can wake farther. I want pushing everything past breaking point. I can wake farther. And Belia stands and stumbles off into the distance. Oh shit, what the hell is going on? I don't know. Oh wait, uh, I don't know. But it looks like she thought of something. She's responding to ask her uh, what Asker said. Is she doing what Asker originally wanted to do? Maybe. Let's follow her. All right, let's do this. I don't know if you heard my snap. All right, so let's go ahead and check out Alice's uh, gameplay for Nair. Not Nair. <laughs> um, uh, to be. Oh yeah. Bum, bum, bum. Oh god! Dang, that was that was cocky. God dang. All right. God, she's so cool. Look at her go. Woo! This is this is peak to be right here. Peak to be. Here we go. Big swing. Oh, he was already dead. That's a shame. 
Oh, the, the, the stupid turret killed him. There we go. Nice, nice. All right, cool. Okay, did that Minecraft YouTuber ground unlocked? And let's check out some files. Tubi is an all-purpose battle android from the Oregon Infantry. She is equipped with a multitude of blades for close quarters combat and can attack from range using the pod support system. Uh, file 2, though regulations forbid expressing emotions, each model of the UR Infantry has their own distinguished personality. This is your unit 2B. If anyone's listening to this, there is something I need you to do if you ever need up my 9S, whatever. I want him. I mean, uh, suspicious. I wonder. Alright, I guess we can go ahead and check out all three of them together. Alright, let's do this. Come on! All right, bring out uh, A2. Uh, stacks reset, if I remember correctly. Ow. Oh, there's a ticket there. A2, Berserker mode. God dang, oh my god. Oh, that's right, that's right. This is uh, timed. I was like, oh man, this boss has a lot of health. No, that's fair. It's okay, it's okay. Oh, my eyes! Oh, it's beautiful! Jeez! Jeez! Oh, man. It's so beautiful. Witness OP-ness. A2 back out. Someone 9S. Ah, what is going on? Blue. Red. Pod. Bring 9S back out. Whip out A2. Or use the assist. My bad. Alright. Alright. Pretty good. God damn. Woo! Dodge that. Get the assists. By the way, this is this is literally just what all the ranked maps are look like. It's just this. Alright, badass. Fucking cool. Oh man, so fucking cool. Good job, Alice. You did fantastic. Well, that is it for this episode. Thank you for joining me. My name is Volt, Rhythm Darkness. Sorry for the fuck up, but it is what it is, and I pay for the consequences. Uh, thank you, Alice, once again, for letting me use your footage. You are a lifesaver. So, with all that out of the way, thank you for joining me. See you in the next episode. See ya. Oh, and uh, links are in the description, of course. See you next time.